Your promoter, Pieter Jan Stapper, says about you, Boudewijn is deeply interested to get a thorough philosophical underpinning to his work, but doesn't let that get in the way of doing some real design work. Prototypes unavoidably at the ID Studio Lab again. Well, that's a big compliment. <laughs> Your daily supervisor, Marco Rosendahl, adds to that, Boudewijn grows visibly. He is continuously improving in ways to combine making activities with research activities. Wow, yeah, nice. Uh, I wish they told me before. <laughs> <laughs> My main research question is what stimulates children with cancer to engage in physical play during hospitalization? So when children are hospitalized, um, they tend to stay in bed very, uh, well, a lot. Their physical activity is very low. So how can we well, uh, trigger these children to engage in physical play? And I do that mainly uh, uh, well, um, by creating uh, designs and uh, introducing these um, to the children and see uh, how they respond to it. Uh, yeah, I have two main prototypes now, uh, two design directions you could say. Uh, these are sticks, so basically it's inspired by the sticks you find in a forest. Uh, uh, when children play with those, they drag them around and they build and they use them as swords. But also the different uh, shapes, the, the weird shapes and the colors are also uh, a way to trigger their imagination. So uh, this is Fizzy. Uh, fizzy is um, a little ball, uh, it seems at first sight, um, but if you uh, approach it, it rolls away from you. If you pick it up, it starts shaking. Or if, and uh, after a while, maybe it, it gets used to you, and if you stroke it, uh, then uh, it starts purring. So it has a certain behavior, it responds to a child in a certain way. And in that way, I hope, um, well, it stimulates the child, for instance, to get out of bed uh, when he sees a fizzy uh, 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 drawing attention, for instance. Uh, but also, it could lead the child from place to place. So the, the, I think the kind of the unique thing about my project is that it's not only research, but it's also um, um, the idea is to end up with two, uh, no, one final design that actually gets developed further and is finally um, introduced, actually used in, uh, in hospitals. So that's also quite a challenge, but also quite uh, uh, unique, I think, uh, uh, in the project. So research with design, you could say, in, in two ways I relate to that. One, I actually deliver a de final design, but also I use design as a way of doing research. They are my interventions, basically. Uh,